Today I'm going to talk about the information in live view on your Olympus camera. So today is going to be sort of a follow-up to my video on the Olympus menu walkthrough, uh, but I'm going to be covering the information on the back of the screen, or live view in other words. Uh, you know, everything that you see, you know, like the shutter speed, the aperture, etc. Uh, and like before, I'm going to be using the EM10 Mark II as the baseline camera. Uh, the menus, the information in the system on the back of the screen should be pretty similar across all of the Olympus cameras, like the pen line and the OMDs. So hopefully whichever Olympus camera you have, you'll be able to follow along without too many uh, differences and where there are differences you know they're probably very minor or unique to the camera that you have but in terms of just going out and taking pictures or maybe recording a video you know all of these settings should be very very similar okay so we'll go ahead and get started uh, i'm going to go ahead and start with the factory reset on the camera and uh, that way we'll be all on the same page okay so let me go there and we'll do a full factory reset. And actually one more thing I need to do before uh, anything else is I need to take the camera out of sleep mode so that the screen will stay on while I'm kind of walking through the information. And uh, basically right now what we're looking at is the live view. Um, and it tells you a little bit about what's going on or what it thinks is going on with the image in front of it. So let's kind of walk over uh, from in a clockwise direction. And we'll start over here on the left with the ISO A400. So this just tells you the ISO is in auto mode and the camera's decided to pick ISO 400. And you know, as I change the light, you'll see that the ISO changes. So that also confirms that we're in auto ISO. The next thing on the uh, camera here you'll see is the uh, touchscreen icon. And this icon right now is showing sort of like a finger touching or pushing onto a shutter. And that essentially just means that anywhere you touch on the screen, the camera's going to focus on that point and then take a picture. So, you know, just for, as an example, we'll touch over here on his left eye. And that's it so it's very simple but you can change the mode that the touch screen operates so you do that by actually touching the icon on the screen like this and now you can see there's like sort of a little cross sign across the finger and that just means I've turned the touch screen off and as you can see you know I'm all over the screen and nothing's happening and then there's another mode here where it's just touch the focus only so I can tell the camera where to focus first before it takes the picture. So if I wanted to focus, say, over here on this corner, instead of uh, on the face, that's, that's, uh, that's how that works. You push the shutter, takes a picture, and it focuses on the point that you selected. Um, <clears throat> and you'll notice the icon actually turned to off. And what that means is basically is that the uh, autofocus tracking is off, and that's when That's when, um, sorry about that, that's when, you know, you have the autofocus tracking selected in the menu and you can use your thumb to adjust the focus points on the back of the screen. Uh, but generally I leave that off and by default it's also off. Okay, and then the next thing we have here is the uh, mode that the camera is in. And this A here indicates that we're in auto fo um, aperture priority. And if I change it, and that's based on the mode dial on the top, but I can change the mode to uh, shutter priority. And then you'll see that that changes to an S. So I'm going to put it back in the aperture priority because that's normally how I shoot. Okay. Uh, the next thing we see here is the shutter speed. And the shutter speed is represented in whole numbers, but the actual speed is actually one over this number. So right now, for example, the shutter speed is actually one sixtieth of a second. And, um, you know, the higher this number is, the faster your shutter, or inversely, the uh, smaller the number. So if this was at 100, it'd be one over 100 or one one hundredth of a second. Um, one one thousandth of a second so and and so on and that's all that is and then the next one you'll see is f5.6 and 
that does represent the aperture setting of the lens uh, on the camera. So, and that can be adjusted by just turning the back dial by default. And we'll turn that down to 3.5. And you'll also notice that this is in yellow. Uh, in this case, indicates that it is something you can adjust um, on the camera in the current mode that it's in. So, if I were to turn this to shutter priority, Okay, you'll notice now that the shutter speed is now in yellow. Um, so now I know that this dial is going to control the shutter speed rather than the aperture. So that's why that's the yellow color versus white. And then the next thing, as you will know now, this is in yellow and this is your exposure compensation uh, meter, which um, is adjustable and that's adjustable by default on the front dial of the camera. So I can dial in minus one, plus one, and it goes up to plus five. Okay, and there's a couple of things going on here. Okay, so first let me explain what plus one is. Plus one is one stop, uh, meaning the camera's going to expose the picture one stop brighter than the default of zero, and zero being what the camera thinks is the correct exposure. Uh, and one stop is equivalent to twice as much light or being twice as bright. Uh, so as you can see, plus one is twice as bright as zero. So if I do plus two, that is actually not twice as bright. That's actually four times brighter because you multiply each stop by two. Uh, so one stop is twice as bright. Two stops is four times as bright. Three stops would be what? Two times two times two or eight times as bright. Okay, and four stops would be what? 16 times as bright. So uh, basically, you know, that's sort of how this works. And I should do a video on exposure values and what stops of light are, etc. What What is correct exposure according to a camera, but we'll do that at another time. Okay, but what I want you to notice here is over to the right, is sort of a graphic representation of the uh, uh, exposure compensation. And there's a limitation here. Um, I stopped a point, uh, three stops for a reason because this is the limit of the live view's ability to display the, the exposure that you're going to take. So if I were to take a picture now, it should look pretty close to uh, what's being shown on the back of the screen which is, you know, it's just way too bright, but let me just show you. Okay, so now if I push the play button, uh, we get exactly what we were expecting. But you'll notice if I turn this to say plus five, okay, now we're what, 32 times brighter, right, than the original zero exposure. Um, but you notice the brightness of the live view has not changed. Uh, and if I take a picture, it's probably going to be completely blown out. So let's do that. Okay. And if we look, look at that. I can just barely see the corners of this guy's lips or cheeks. I can barely make out any of the colors in the color card. And if I go to the previous picture, which was plus three stops, you can see that, you know, I can see a lot of the colors now and the lips of the uh, clown here. But if we go back to live view, you'll notice that the live view is still stuck at plus three stops in terms of display. So just be aware of that when you're out taking pictures and, and it works the same way in reverse. Okay, minus three is the maximum and just look, you can kind of see the clown's uh, uh, head here still pretty clearly. And if I take a picture and hit the play button, this is pretty representative of what we saw on the screen. But if I go to minus five, we should be almost pitch black at this point. Uh, but on the live view, you can still see pretty much the same thing as you saw at minus three uh, exposure comp. So if I take a picture and you can see it's completely blacked out. But if I go back to the minus three exposure, again, now we can kind of see the clown's face. So that's a... Uh, that's one trick that, you know, you won't see really anybody talking about when they talk about live view and mirrorless cameras is, oh, I just love seeing, 
you know what the picture is going to look like uh, before I take it but that's not necessarily true depending on what you're trying to accomplish because maybe you want a really dark picture with just one spot of light right but you're not going to be able to tell until you actually take the picture in some cases. Um, the other indication that you have that you've kind of exceeded the display limit of the live view is this will start blinking here over here on the um, uh, graphic display. But as soon as I go back down to three, it stopped blinking. So that's what these two things here, they kind of work together. One just to give you a numerical value and the other one kind of to give you a visual representation of the limit of the meter or I'm sorry not the meter but the limit of the uh, display and then it'll start flashing okay so let's move on to the next thing um, <clears throat> down here we have the count of the number of pictures the camera can store on the SD card that you put in so I always do usually a fresh format of a uh, SD card before I put it in and that way I know what the maximum capacity is. But this number is based on the current resolution that you have the camera set at. And the default setting right now is set to large normal. And this is the, the JPEG, uh, indicate, uh, JPEG format, large normal JPEG, which is, you know, sort of a standard compression JPEG. will still give you nice images and you can store a bunch of pictures like that. But if I were to change this to, say, RAW, and we all know RAW files are much larger, you'll see that it changed to 1,719 pictures. And this is not a hard number. It's kind of an estimate, okay? You're going to be plus or minus 50, 100 pictures from this number, depending on the, you know, the kind of pictures you take. So just keep that in mind. It's not exactly 1719. It's probably going to be closer to 1650 or maybe 1750 but it's not going to be exactly this number and it sort of goes same for the number right above it the number right above it is two hours 17 minutes 23 seconds and that indicates uh, how many minutes of video you can record to the SD card in its current state so <clears throat> and, and again that's also based on the, the uh, resolution of the video file you're going to be recording so in this case right now it's indicating that I'm in full HD, fine, 60p. Uh, so at this resolution, full HD, fine, with that compression, I'm going to be at 2 hours, 17 minutes. Okay, and if I change that to something else, it'll go up or down uh, with that respect. And, and honestly, um, your battery is going to run out long before you hit any of these numbers anyway. And I happen to have, I think, it's a 32 gig SD card in, in the, in the uh, camera now. So, again, uh, number of pictures, number of minutes you can record, the recording resolution and format, and the uh, format of the pictures you'll be taking. In this case, right now, I have it set to RAW. Okay, the next icon we have here is the uh, photo uh, picture mode format. So, what it actually is, this is actually just a, a tiny little brush next to the number three. So just because I've had this camera while I know that's the natural profile number three. That's the one that I use the most for the for the best colors I think that Olympus produces. Um, but I can change that, right? I can change that in the super control panel. I can change that to portrait and you'll notice that I still have a paintbrush set to number five. Sorry, in the live view. And paintbrushes generally represent uh, changes in color okay so let's go back in because if I set this to monotone you'll notice the paintbrush is gone now we're in monotone or just M okay and so on and we'll come back to that a little later um, okay and then the next thing we have here is the image stabilization state so SIS which I think that says SIS I can't honestly I can't really see it because I don't have my glasses uh, but it stands for uh, sensor image stabilization and it's telling you it's set to auto Okay, and again that can be changed in the control panel or through the menu system uh, The next icon we have here Oops, I'm sorry. The next icon we have here is a little uh, smiley face with an eye next to it So that tells you that you're in face priority with eye detect so it's going to try and focus on the first eye it can uh, After it finds the face so it's going to find the face then focus on the eye Okay, and if I can't find the eye, then I'll just focus on the face. And that's why this uh, little white square here is sort of, uh, you know, 
uh, flickering back and forth around the uh, face of the clown uh, because it has detected the face so it just needs to detect an eye and I, I don't know if at this close distance I can get it to do that let me see yeah see did you now just watch right around the eye you'll notice that it found the the left eye of the clown to my right uh, and that's where it's going to focus when you take the picture okay so those that's the basic information now another thing you may have noticed and I let's see let me go into sorry let me go back to just the natural profile is when I go into the menu and come back out and they come all the way back out you'll notice a bunch of icons kind of pop up and then they disappear and they, they kind of vanish because uh, they want to clear up the screen of any kind of distractions as much as they can without taking away sort of the basic information um, <clears throat> but all that information actually is right here in the super control panel so if you do want to double check something that you don't see an icon for on the screen just hit the OK button to bring up the super control panel and the super control panel is brought up by default uh, you know in in factory mode so uh, I'll show you where you can change it if it's not in default uh, but uh, those icons that kind of popped up and disappeared are there in the super control panel for you to check uh, in case you need to okay and then let's see one last icon here is the the Wi-Fi icon okay and this what this this icon is not an indication of the Wi-Fi being on or off it's actually a touch point on the screen for you to turn the Wi-Fi on so that you can connect to your cell phone uh, to perform you know wireless or uh, you know taking pictures with your phone uh, through your camera right so let me just show you that so if I just touch the Wi-Fi button or icon I should say you'll see that it pops up and goes right to the uh, uh, Wi-Fi and turns it on and gives you the information you need to connect to your phone okay and it, in, and then there's an app the Olympus app to uh, start up in your phone to connect so that's all that is so I'm gonna hit the menu button as indicated here to go back out okay and that's pretty much it for the default screen on the live view but you can change things that the live view displays or shows you okay and you toggle through them usually with just the, the uh, info button here on the back of the camera so if I just hit the info button now you'll notice that now we're just in picture only mode where with the exception of this little square because we're in face priority uh, all of the icons are gone so you can kind of frame the picture a little better and get a better picture of what you're taking right okay and if I hit the info button again it's now toggled back to the default uh, live view display with the basic information on shutter speed aperture exposure comp etc okay so you can still do more though okay but you have to go into the menu and I touched on some of those in my previous video uh, you know on the menu walkthrough but I'm gonna go through the ones here that specifically are for the live view on your camera and also the playback because that's sort of live view as well okay so let me just stop here uh, for a second I need to get a glass of water I'll be right back <laughs> 